while calling for investigation on the alleged ill treatment and injustice suffered by Nigerian traders and businesses in Ghana, sponsor of the motion, Senator Ifanyi Uba from Anambra South, also noted that at the end of 2010, Nigerian businesses accounted for 60% of foreign investment in Ghana from the African continent. He then expressed his concern. Concern that of recent, the once flourishing economic relationship between Nigeria and Ghana has come under repeat threat as a result of recent hostile posture of Ghanaian authorities and the indigenous Ghana trade union towards Nigerian traders through the adoption of discriminatory legislations aimed at frustrating Nigerian traders and businesses, such as the passage of the Ghana Investment Promotion Council Act 865, that raised the amount of money in registering business owned by foreigners, mostly owned by Nigerians in Ghana, to $200,000, and further restriction and prohibition of foreigners from trading in particular markets. Other senators also expressed their worry over the attitude of Ghanaian government. We have seen from this motion the hostile action that is taken by Ghanaians against Nigerian business, uh, uh, businessmen in Ghana. Therefore, it is important for us to investigate this matter so that other African countries can see that when our citizens are uh, attacked or uh, hostile policies are articulated against them, we do not just let it go. You know, every country, especially the developing countries, every country, irrespective of any form of trade agreement, tries to protect her indigenous entrepreneurs. And I think that is exactly what Ghana is doing. The Senate also called on the Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Federal Ministry of Trade and Investment, and the Nigerian Diaspora Commission to adopt and implement measures that will protect the interests of Nigerian traders in Ghana. Let me uh, remark that uh, we owe every single Nigerian the responsibility and obligation uh, to protect the person and, of course, promote and protect the economic interests of such citizens wherever they are. And this situation is another dimension uh, of uh, either lack of understanding or maybe lack of intervention, early engagements between the two countries. From the Senate, Mohammed Adamu, Liberty.